The most important part about creating a video is the thumbnail. Here's how I do it for free. GIMP is a software that I use and it's been around since 1998 and to me it's like the welfare version of Adobe Photoshop. But it gets the job done, it's way easier and more detailed than all the other browser photoshops. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. But before you do that, let me show you a quick rundown and a tutorial on how to use it. When you open it up, you gotta make it a 1080 by 720 for it to fit perfectly in YouTube. And you can look up anything you want for the background, so I'm just gonna use Fortnite for example. And all you gotta do is just go to images, copy it, and then just paste it right into GIMP. And you don't need to save it onto like a file or anything. Next you can use the scaling tool to scale it to wherever you want it to be and fit as much as you can to make it look good. So I'm just gonna find a transparent image of uh, Jonesy for example, and just paste it into there. And then I can go and scale it and move it around to wherever I want it to be. And for the text, you can just go to the text icon, make it to where as big as you want by just clicking and dragging and typing whatever, changing the color and the size of the and the size of the font. And if you want to add a background, all you have to do is just create a new layer, right click on the actual text, and do an alpha select, right click on the text select, and grow it to about three. Or however big you want the outline to be. And then you want to change the color to black, go to the bucket tool, go back to the layer, and make sure to put it behind the original font. Also, if you want to blur the background just a little bit or a lot, you could just go to filters, blur, and mess with however you want it, how much you want it to be blurred. I usually just do a little bit. And if you want the text to be a shadow behind it instead of the thick, dark line, you can just go into filters and blur it a little bit and it can make it more smoother so it pops out without having to see that thick black line. And I'm going to do the same thing for the, for the Jonesy. And if you want to save it, you can go to File, Save, or you can export it. So if you want to come back to it, you could save it or if you just want to get it done and over with, you can just export it to wherever you want it to be. I don't know what you're saying, it might look a little shitty. I know, it's because I made it in like 30 seconds. There's so much more you can do with this. This is just the basics. And uh, if you guys want to see more tutorials on this or just anything at all, you can just comment and make sure to like and subscribe. See ya.